Alrighty. Hey guys, here we are with yet another video. And this video is something that uh, was actually pretty exciting for me to, to create. Uh, so yesterday, I put a question on my social media if, they, if any of my followers had any questions about pickleball or anything pickleball related rules, strategy, uh, tournaments, whatever it might be. And so I put that out there and somebody had asked me a question that I actually didn't know off the top of my head. And so I wanted to do a little bit of research to get them the right answer. Uh, the question was, how many hours have I played pickleball in my lifetime? Now, that was a really good question because I didn't know uh, the answer to that right away. And so it got me thinking, and so I started doing some math, and it took me a couple of hours to kind of do these calculations. And so I did it yesterday, and I put it in a PowerPoint because I didn't want to do the math on the spot. And even now, having done this on my own, I'm sure there are mistakes, um, and hopefully there aren't too many mistakes. But uh, let's go over some of the numbers that I came up with. So let's start with how many hours have I played uh, pickleball? So the very first year that I began playing pickleball was 2014. I had heard about it previously um, before 2014, but I just had never played it before then. Um, I honestly never touched a paddle, but as soon as I did touch a paddle, I was hooked instantly, just like pretty much everyone else. And sure enough, right at the very beginning of 2014, I started practicing quite a bit. I was lucky enough to have a group of guys. Uh, they were uh, all in my area and they were all 5.0 players. And we would play for about three days a week uh, for three hours. Now, uh, disclaimer, before we get into this, all the numbers that I did, I rounded them up um, I underestimated the numbers. In reality, I probably played quite a bit more. I'm guessing I underestimated by about 25%. Um, I just wanted to be safe. I didn't want to come up with a number that was higher than um, what I had done, but just putting that out there in the open that most of these numbers, I'm guessing, are quite a bit lower, but they are in the ballpark range of, of the actual number. So. To begin, I started out playing three days a week, and each time I played, I played for about three hours each time. So, for this video's sake, we're going to say there are 364 days in a year. I know there's not, but 364 divided by seven gives us an equal and even 52 weeks. That makes it easier for us for the addition uh, and math. So we have 52 weeks times nine hours because I play for about nine hours each week, and that gives us a total of 468 hours, okay? So 2014, I played for about 468 hours, and then I have a chart here on the right side uh, just illustrating um, the numbers that I've played. Okay, so we move on to 2015. 2015, I pretty much keep up the same routine, same practices for three days a week. I'm playing at three hours each time, sometimes more, sometimes a little bit less, but it's roughly about three hours. Uh, 364 divided by seven is equal to 52 weeks. 52 weeks times nine hours gives us another 468 total hours. All right, so by this time, I'm playing quite a bit. I'm enjoying it. I'm getting better. I'm meeting new people. Um, 2016 rolls around and it's funny how the numbers look because I actually start to play a little bit less. However, now that I'm playing a little bit less, my practices are a little bit more meaningful and I'm focusing on different strategies, different techniques each time I'm going out there. And so instead of going out there and just playing with whoever and wherever and whenever, I was a lot more focused and I was a lot more uh, purposeful when I would go out there and play. And so I actually averaged out to about three and a half days a week. However, when I was playing, it was a little bit less. It was about two to two and a half hours each time. So once again, a year divided by seven gives us 52 weeks. And those 52 weeks times 8.75 is what I was playing in 2016, gives us a total of 455 hours. 
Okay, um, so now let's go into 2017. I keep up the same routine where I'm playing about three and a half days a week, two and a half hours each time that I go out there. Uh, and this gives us another total of 455. 2018 looks very similar. 2019, very similar. And we get to 2020 where uh, obviously the year was pretty wild in and of itself. However, my practice stays up uh, pretty much the same what it was before. So I'm still playing three and a half days a week, two and a half hours each time. Uh, so once again, we end up with 455 total hours. So you can see the graph right here on the screen. Um, the first two years, I was playing a lot more. However, I would say they weren't as meaningful or as purposeful as they were towards the end. So the last few years have been a lot more intensive and just a lot more meaningful. I'm actually um, paying attention to different strategies. I'm working on unique shots, shots that I wasn't doing before. And so that's why uh, the numbers go down a little bit more. Um, whereas you might think they might go up, they actually go down on my part. All right, so let's go on uh, 2021, the year that we're in right now. So I can actually count the exact days. So I know 2021 is the exact uh, time that I've played up until now. Um, so I'm playing about four days a week, two and a half hours each time that I play. Uh, there's been 21 days as the time that I'm recording this video. Um, and so that equals three weeks. And so three times 10 gives us about 30 total hours that I've played so far in 2021. All right, so this, all those numbers were my total practice hours. Those weren't including competition or tournaments or gym time or anything like that. This was just me practicing on the court uh, with somebody else or with a group of four people. Um, this does not include tournaments, gym, or anything else, studying film or anything else like that. So add it all up and I come up with 3,241, 3,241 total practice hours that I've spent in my life uh, playing pickleball and practicing pickleball. So I went a little bit further and I went down to tournament hours because a very important thing with pickleball and any sport for that matter is using those skills and putting it, putting it into actual competition. So tournament hours, this gets a little bit trickier. And so once again, I'm just rounding up um, using whole numbers and estimating. Once again, I am underestimating um, for the most part, just because I want to stay fairly accurate. And so now I'm adding up my tournament hours. All right, so for the first one in 2014, I played zero tournaments. Um, I was just practicing a lot, having a lot of fun, learning new things, everything like that. Uh, 2015, I believe I played probably two tournaments. Um, once again, I calculated that they were about five hours each, and so I did uh, 10 hours total. Um, these were primarily just doubles. Um, as the years continue, in 2016, I start focusing quite a bit more on events and tournaments, and I also start to do more divisions. So in pickleball, you have doubles, mixed doubles, and singles. So I'm almost doing three divisions per tournament, and I'm this is very, very underestimating, but I'm giving myself five hours per event. So five hours per singles, five hours per doubles, and five hours per mixed doubles. Um, if you've ever played in a tournament and you've made it further in the draw, you know that they can take quite a bit longer than five hours. Uh, so that's how I came up with my numbers. So I think 10 times 15 is 150. So that gives us 150 hours just in tournaments for 2016. All right, 2017, I'm increasing the amount of tournaments that I'm going to. So I do 15 tournaments and I end up around 225 hours. 2018, I'm around the same amount of tournaments. Uh, once again, so 225. 2019, once again, I'm around the same number of tournaments, 15 tournaments, and that gives me around 225 hours. 2020, uh, that was kind of a crazy year, as everyone knows, so I did, I think, about eight tournaments, and I came out with, I can't do the math on, on the spot, but around 80 to 90 hours or so. 
And then 2021, I've played a little event. Um, it was a grand opening for this new club facility, a pickleball facility that has opened up recently. And so I participated in that event and it took me about five hours. I just did men's doubles and it took me about five hours for that. It was a smaller event, uh, but it was five hours. All right, so add those up, total practice hours, combined with total tournament hours is 3,971 total combined hours between the practicing and then the tournaments. Now, I could go a lot further into this stuff, and I do right here. I combine my gym hours because for pickleball, I also work out, I run, I lift weights, I stretch. Um, there's a lot of other things that go into focusing in on pickleball. It's not only practicing on the court, it's studying film, it's, it's, it's uh, learning strategy. Um, there's a whole, whole, um, tons of variety that you can uh, look at and practice uh, for pickleball. And so these that I focused on just barely were the total practice hours, tournament hours, and then right here I give the gym um, that I come out to 4,538 total combined hours. Now, there's a book out there um, that talks about how most professional athletes have around 10,000 hours um, in their skill, whether it be practice or tournaments, whatever it might be. Now, pickleball is very interesting uh, because a lot of the same skills can be transferred over from another racket sport or any sports for that matter. Basketball helps, baseball helps, racquetball definitely helps, ping pong helps, and which is why I think so many people like pickleball is because so many sports kind of transfer over. Anyways, I played a lot of tennis growing up. I played at Division I uh, school uh, here in Utah, and all of those hours combined that I did tennis transfers over quite a bit into pickleball. Not 100%, but a lot of it does transfer over. And so that's why I think my numbers might be a little bit lower than some other professional players or other rec players for that matter. Um, also, some things to keep in mind, other factors to consider, is I did not really account for working out in the gym until the very end. Um, I'm not accounting for traveling, I'm not accounting for studying film, watching YouTube videos, uh, matches, um, tournaments, everything like that. Not accounting for previous experience in tennis, when I began playing pickleball, I began at the 5.0 level immediately. Most people who are starting out with pickleball, if they have a tennis background or a sports background, uh, they might start at the 3.5, 4.0, or maybe 4.5 level. But when I first started playing, I was immediately at the 5.0 level. And so I think that cuts off uh, quite a bit of the hours. And then also, as I had already mentioned, I have 20 plus years of competitive experience, tennis experience, um, that's difficult to teach by only putting in our hours. And so all of this combined is a benefit to me um, and why my hours might be a little bit lower than some other, some other people. Uh, let's see here. And then once again, the biggest thing that I think a lot of people make um, as a mistake is they forget quality over quantity. And this is the mistake that I maybe made my first two years, one to two years, is I was going out there and I was just having a fun, and that's great. If that's all you wanna do is have fun, that's awesome, there's nothing stopping you. But if you're really wanting to improve your game and get better and start winning tournaments and start uh, placing higher at tournaments, always remember quality over quantity. I am practicing a little bit less than I was the first two years, However, I'm performing much better than I was the first two years. And that's because my practices, my tournaments, they're a lot more meaningful. I take them a lot more serious than I did when I first started. And so once again, quality over quantity. Um, anyways, this was a fun video for me to go back and kind of add up these numbers. Hopefully I didn't make any too many errors um, doing math on the spot and even when you have a lot of time going back, it's kind of confusing. So hopefully I didn't uh, make any uh, any big errors. Hopefully you can forgive me if I do. Anyways, hopefully this uh, video was enjoyable and you learned something new. It's kind of interesting how we can go back and look at different things and it all kind of comes together. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on how many hours you think pro pickleball players should have under their belt. It gets a little bit sticky when you start mixing other sports in with their uh, with the sport. Uh, some sports 
tend to give players an advantage over others. Uh, so let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. Thanks.